The ATP Tour has finally announced that they are going to do something about the ATP Challenger level titles and are finally going to add more prize money so that way players can actually make a living, possibly, on the Challenger level tour. Now let me explain what that means. Recently, the ATP Tour has announced that it will be increasing its prize money purse for all ATP Tour level titles by 60%, going up to a total of 21, over $21 million, I should say, which includes them breaking down each category into four simple divisions. 50, 75, 100, 125. Now, the interesting thing is, while they do simplify these from 50, 60, 80, and adding more and more numbers depending on sponsors, they're actually breaking it down to make it very simple for these players. Yet, at the same time, they will be adding one extra category, which in my mind is very, very interesting to think about. A 175. A 175 meaning that this tournament will be played at the highest level of the Challenger Tour, because it will be the biggest purse that they offer on the Challenger Tour, as well as this will be held in these three 175 events that they're trying next year, will be held the second week of Grand Slams. So those that may have lost during that first week can actually compete right after a Grand Slam, so that way they can continue to play and continue the momentum that they may have had during that Grand Slam. With these three new, brand new, premium 175 events that they're titling it, they're also adding more tournaments throughout the calendar, which is a total of 195 tournaments that they're going to offer at the Challenger level tour. Now, this is an increase from around 180 that they had this past year. With this enhanced calendar that they're adding with 195 tournaments, this is, and I quote, what they said on the press release. Improvements to the calendar will also see it more closely aligned with the ATP Tour and deliver a better balance of tournaments in both surface types and regions. In addition, a project 170% increase in the number of Challenger 100 and 125 events that will enhance player flow and mobility, giving players more opportunities to ascend the Pepperstone ATP rankings. Now, Pepperstone is now the main sponsor of the ATP rankings, yet what they're talking about is with that total number of tournaments increasing, they're hopefully allowing players to play more in the same region to play for a more bigger bigger prize money that they could possibly survive off of. Now, in my opinion, I think this is the right step forward. I think this just should have been done a long time ago. The fact that they now found this much more prize money to give to these players, the fact that they're actually putting in an effort to see this Challenger Tour be a success for players, not just as a way to get to the ATP Tour, which it still is, but at the same time, allowing them to actually survive from tournament to tournament and actually bring in an income rather than just putting it into expenses every single time they play. Now, what does that mean for the WTA level? What does that mean for the ITF level tournaments? That has yet to be told. We don't have a specific tournament within those WTA rankings of the 125 case, the 50 case, this 80 case. They only have a certain amount and the only ones that they have brought to our attention is the 125 case, which have been a pretty good step for WTA players. ITF level, we still have no central organization for it when it comes to pro level titles at the ITF level that transition into ATP because these are three different bodies of tennis still trying to coordinate with each other. But as of right now, this is a very good step forward for the ATP Tour into 2023. I would like to see how it works next year, but then again, we have to wait. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about the Challenger Tour finally adding more prestigious tournaments and adding more money that players can get. This should have been done a long time ago in our opinion. Let us know what you think down in the comments below, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.